guys, and welcome to Crooking Trees with Twitchy, brought to you by Aim to Game Servers. Woo! Actually, we're on the Landcraft for Terra Firmacraft server, as you guys well know. And we are here trying to get 64 Willow saplings. You can see I've got three trees on the go here, and I've been going around crooking all these leaves. I managed to actually get a fair number of saplings. You can see down on my bar there, I've got 11, but this is only about a sixth of what I need. There we go, another one. Great. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of this, but there is something else that I'll be doing a lot of today. Let's go over towards my kiln pit, and we'll go and have a look. You can see I had some uh, ladders on my bar, because what I wanted to do was climb up the willow trunk. But, oh my, all those branches and stuff, they're, they're just so in the way that I literally cannot get over there and do any stuff. The next thing I wanted to do... Oh yeah, brilliant, great. Uh, hopefully I've not let this sit for too long. You'll see I have these ceramic vessels full of copper. And so what I'm going to do is try and make myself a whole load of units. The problem is, of course, these take forever to cool down. So I might even have to make myself a barrel full of water to deal with that. I'm not quite sure how, as I don't... Hmm, just thinking, I don't actually have any way of transporting a good amount of water around. I may have actually slightly messed this up by not making myself a barrel of water beforehand. All right, let's see if we can do something about that. Let's put that up there and come on in here. We're either going to actually like fix some stuff or we're going to end up having to remelt all the copper, which is kind of okay. We're, we're not short of willow or grass or anything like that, so we should all be good. Uh, hopefully I can grab this, and if we can run down... Oh no, night is coming. It's the worst time of day for me. Uh, obviously the ping over to America for me, not the best in the world. Can I still climb stuff when I'm doing this? Yes, brilliant. I'm not sure if it displays my ping. It doesn't. Uh, today actually seems to be okay. If I throw something on the floor, you can see it happens quite quickly and you kind of pick it up after a second or so. Okay, so let's put the willow barrel on. Oh, ah, completely overburdened. I just want to stick it over there if I can. Okay, cool. Now, can we uh, do this? Ah, oh, no, it's not like this. I thought that... Oh, wait, unseal it. does help. Uh, does that help seal? Wait for it a little while. Open it back up. No, it's still yellow liquid. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out how this works, and I will be back, ah, oh, hopefully, when the daylight returns. So, obviously, the bit where I was going wrong was I was using salt water. So, what I did was literally just emptied my, uh, my drinking bottle here into the barrel, and then I can pop these in and watch them... Dr oh, did you see how quickly that worked? And is this going down? It is going down. So we're going to need to go and refill this up somehow. But that's not going to be too much of a bother. I'm going to just carry on going through filling this up. All right, cool. So a small rearrangement of my internal space here is probably going to make things a little bit easier for my smithing. You can see I've got the water on this side. That's just sheep. Uh, water on this side, and I'm going to be using uh, this little pit kiln here. Let me just top this up quickly. So you can probably hear my clicking mouse on my microphone. You can see that the, the lag is not too strong here. Now, I am wondering whether the fire... Oh. Ah, that was not what we wanted, was it? I am wondering whether the fire is actually going to end up setting fire to my barrel, but we will find out. Let's reset this. It happens every now and then when things break that just, like, upset everything. That's okay. All right, I would also like to take you guys on a little journey around here. So you remember that we spent all of last episode finding this um, tetrahydride uh, deposit, you know, we went all the way around and, and back over there and eventually found it. If we come over this way, first thing I'd like to draw your attention to ugh, is the small sheep problem that is developing back here. No, no real issue. I mean, we can always end up tidying this up, no problem. And of course, the tidying will lead to a certain influx of food. But if I come around just this little corner and, uh, oh, what's this in the wall over here? Tetrahydride? Oh, you mean all I had to do was walk around the back of where I was? Shocker. Okay, guys, so I've been making this entire stack of copper here because I want to start making some real tools and uh, a real anvil, actually. That is kind of the next thing I need to be working on. If we have a look inside my quest book here, you can see that I really want to work on this copper anvil. Now, of course, what we need to do is try and stick the ingots together. Let's see if I can actually show you via any eye. 
Yeah, so it shows you that it's all double co uh, double copper ingots, which are made from two ingots being welded together. Now, how do you weld them if you do not already have an anvil? Well, of course, you beat the living bejeebus out of it on a bit of rock. Um, I've just earned a hammer time. That's not quite what I wanted. You can see here we have got a stone anvil. Amazing. Now, I need to put this hammer in here, else when I leave... The UI will turn back to a bit of stone. Uh, there's a few other things I need to do. I need to get some flux in here. And I also need a way of warming up my copper. Now this can be done in a fire using white elm. But this gives you about a second worth of time to go. Alright, get the hot stuff over here and cook another one. And oh god, everything's gone all cold already. So we're not going to be doing that. Let me put this back over here because I don't need that anymore. Uh, we need to make a charcoal pit. Now this... Involves having an enclosed space to put up a whole load of these, let me just run around here, log piles like we've got over there. And I've noticed that there's this nice little dark zone in the corner here. Now, my copper pickaxe has only got 12 hits left, but this giant's pickaxe got a lot left. So I'm just going to kind of go ham on this section here and hopefully... Oh, that's almost exactly what I wanted. Brilliant. Okay, we're going to just empty this out quickly. And I think, yeah, this might be the area we use for our charcoal pit. There's a little bit of cleaning up that needs to be done. I need to be able to make this a totally enclosed space and maybe make a way of getting up to the top. Yes, let's, let's do that now, shall we? I can probably do that from up here. Uh, how high up did it go? This, this is the question. It's at that level there. So we want to leave that as a cap and then go up a little higher. Okay, so... Well, we've done this. Let's do this. I really need to fix this pickaxe. In fact, it is going to break before I get to do what it is I like, I want to do. So let's try and do it like that. Is there a hole there? Here we go. Last hit, I think. No. Okay, let's try this one instead. Still not broken. I, th I, I really thought that was that. Uh, okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to keep you with me, actually. I was going to say I'm going to cut and make this work. But what we're actually going to do is do it like this. Cut it like that. Brilliant. Uh, and then hopefully I can just kind of... Nah. All right. I'm going to need some real stone. Something else I've been doing is moving all my stuff inside here. Because I want to use the area over there for uh, for forging and stuff like that. Let me, let me get on top of this. Pillar. Oh, it's not gone high enough. Okay, so this area here is where I want to put all my forging equipment, get uh, get the, pit, the uh, anvil on the go in the corner and stuff like that. But the forge itself needs sky access, but it can have sky access kind of three or four blocks away, which kind of makes this corner here ideal, especially as the anvil is right there. Then I can work from the inside or outside, depending on where I want to be. Okay, so we got the quartzite rock. I'm finally going to break this pickaxe um, i don't know maybe this one next one ne next one will be it uh and we're just gonna seal this up like this i do enjoy the stone what i should have done actually was put a doorway in yeah that that would have been great but the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fill this with wood because you know that's that should be nice and simple <laughs> uh and yeah i will call you back when we're ready to light the charcoal on fire or, or on smolder. You, you never really light charcoal on fire. You, you only just smolder it away. Oh my giddy giddy gosh. Will you look at the destruction I have wrought. Every one of these saplings was a tree. Well, maybe not here. This is kind of my new uh, tree farm that I'm growing. If we just kind of climb up here as well, you can see I've even leveled off some stuff around here. Stuff has started regrowing though, so that's pretty good and even to the point where my tree farm down here has started turning over again and as it takes oh wow that was a little bit a little bit harsh uh if i have a look at this one you can see that it takes six days it actually takes seven or eight days for a lot of these to grow and you know at 20 minutes a day minecraft day that's like two three hours that that is ridiculous i mean it's literally taken me three uh, three days. Two days? Three days. I can't remember exactly. It's, it's taken me quite a lot of days to get to the point of where we are. But let me take down some of these. I, I think we can do the rest in White Elm. Okay, so in here, the pile is growing. Um, it's growing quite fast, but not really fast enough. Uh, if I come in and have a look, we actually should be down to just filling in these last sections. Yes, I am. That's good. I am still a little bit worried that maybe this door is going to burn. Uh, let's put this in like this. I don't want to over-click because that ends up put. Does it not want to put it there? Ah, oh, that's not the... Uh, ah. 
Hmm, a little bit inconvenient that gravity is suddenly a thing. I can't put it up there, which means to do this, I'm actually going to have to come in from here and take these ones out. That's uh, a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying. This one and this one. And I've probably just locked myself in here by doing this. Yeah, great. Okay, so there we go. A fully stocked uh, log pile. Now, here we go. This, this is the hard bit. What I'm supposed to do is throw one of these on here and wait for it to start smoldering. It appears that it might even be smoldering now. Once that torch disappears and there is like some... There we go. I'm going to pop that on there. And that should now... Uh, completely fill it in and we've got to wait 16 oh no oh no all right let's go get some get some uh, dirt quickly maybe the iron door is actually the one we should be doing ah uh, sealed in right i have no idea if there's any air exposed to any of those ah uh, that was not a square ah oh, please don't say i've completely ruined this well all we can do is wait so whilst that is still smoldering over there giving me hope that maybe we've done it right or maybe like the top layer is burning properly and then we can redo the bottom bit or something like that. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is come down and I would like to expand this area out down here. It's lovely, it's nice, it's warm but it is also subject to horrendous cave-in. Uh, thankfully there is this little uh, quest here to help us do stuff. Oh, look, we can get ourselves ooh, spruce a birch sapling. We don't have a birch or an oak. Uh, so, but to make these, we take one saw. Oh, yeah, and we take some sycamore and we do that. Uh, I'm not sure how many I want. We're just going to start with the one for now. And I didn't bring any actual digging tools with me. But I think the first place we can pop one of these is all the way down here. Is it not going to go on the floor? There we go. All right, and that should hold shape a little bit better for when we take this stuff out here. Uh, let's go and find out. Let's go get some tools and I'll bring us back. So it turns out my tool selection is more limited than your mum's music knowledge, so we're going to have to just kind of wait for now. Uh, let's take this one out and see if we can do anything with that. I mean, do we want to try just punching? I mean, that, no. No, no. Punching is not what we want to do. Okay, I'm going to have to get myself a proper tool. Alright, so this is still burning for me to get a new pickaxe, but I do have this one hit one left, and we're going to go use it not underneath my floor, as I was promising, but if we come up this way... Oh, come on, please, let, let me up this ladder. What is going on with my gameplay today? You can see that the, uh, the smoke has stopped, so let's do this one hit and see what we got. Ah, oh, yeah, we got some charcoal. How am I going to get out of the pit? Help! Help! <laughs> Let's put a ladder down. That'll probably be the one. I uh, can't, of course, because I am in this block. Ah, there we go. That, that's much more useful. Okay, so that one worked well. We need to uh, break down the bar the entranceway here and see what happened underneath. Unfortunately, this does require pickaxe. Um, but maybe, maybe... Come on, get, get along here. With, with this single bit of uh, ladder here we could probably dig down and get some charcoal we can and see how much of this has actually been done does it really take a shovel one hit to to do this could do with a stronger shovel okay i'm gonna dig all this out and see what is down underneath see if there is a layer of wood anywhere under here we're getting out of reach of the shovel that's a little uh, not the shovel i'm using a shovel the ladder which is a little bit unfortunate i'm going to kind of dig my way over here and see what we've got laying over this way All right, guys, a small problem. I think we're going to need a stronger type of floor. You can see we've got the support beams down there, but cobblestone, of course, cobblestone would not hold up against gravity. Hey, that was a weird door thing there. Uh, the next thing I want to do is do, run a little test, actually, run a little test. We've got a scythe here. Now, I've been going around breaking almost everything with these crooks, but I'm told the scythe uh, takes out a wider area. Oh, look, it's, it's autumn. Oh, oh! I should uh, harvest my crops. Uh, harvest a wider area, but there's only a four percent chance of dropping saplings as opposed to the six percent I get with the crook. So I'm just gonna uh, give it a go and see what we get. None from that. I mean, do we want to take out the underside first? Kind of seems like the right way to do it to me. Oh, oh! It suddenly turned back into spring. How did that happen? Uh, all right, let's have a look around. I've now knocked down quite a few. Let's uh, open up my slot for it. There we go do enjoy stuffing things in my slot. 
Yeah, it kind of looks all right, actually. I think we can definitely deal with that. I've not even begun to clear the leaves, and we've already got a couple of saplings. So, yeah, let's uh, let's keep going. The scything went quite well, actually. I uh, got a fair return of saplings off it, and enough willow wood to make myself an entire floor here. Now, this does leave me with a little bit of a problem down here. That is one of darkness, of course. Uh, but... I've gone around and done a few things to save that. You can see that I went and got some midnight sulfur, went out in the dark, probably wasn't the best plan that I ever had, and then went down to the hole. Let me just jump up here. You can just make it out over there. You go down there and you find a whole load of this cryolite. Now, what do we do with cryolite? If I come over to the quern, I know, right, the quern of all places, pop it in and give it a grind. God, let's have a look now. You can see I've got some redstone from it. A lot of redstone for a bit of cryolite, actually. I thought we were only going to get, like, one or two pieces out of it. And we got a full eight for each turn. That is nice. Okay, so with that, what I want to do is put some sulfur down this side and some redstone down this side. And what have we got? Some glowstone dust. I mean, that's what you want. Sulfurized redstone, right? Brilliant. So hopefully now I can just throw those in like that. Do that. Wonderful. Should we, um... Oh, I don't know if taking this out is going to cause a problem we're gonna try it we're gonna find out live on camera i'm either gonna bring my house crashing down or we're gonna go yeah that's cool okay let's pop that there and that should solve some of my lighting issues i feel it probably would have been better on the floor oh well we will know for the future uh over at the charcoal pit i've been digging some stuff up you can see i've put a support beam here because bits of roof were falling in kind of what i want to do is kind of dig back to here put in some support beams there and then seal this back up just so we've got some nice support on the go and now i think it might actually be time for us to go and do the thing that i've been threatening to do all episode that is of course go and get this uh, forge on the go now the one thing i've forgotten to do is pick up any charcoal so let's go grab it out of the box after that charcoal burn there i've literally got stacks and stacks of the stuff so that's all good i am starting to get a little thirsty and hungry but what i'm going to do is going to pop that hole in the corner there and just oh no 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 wait 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 this is not how we do it this is how we do this i'm going to fill this up all the way up to an eight i'm not sure I th i'm fairly sure you only need a seven but i'm, I'm gonna fill it all the way and possibly waste this entire fire starter trying to get this lit there we go all right sweet so this works almost entirely like the pit kiln did uh, apart from when you put your items in let me grab a ceramic mold and right there's gonna be a hundred in there so we only want four right okay so, looking here, we put our ceramic moulds on that side, and then we pop the tetrahydride. No, not in there. In here. No, does it not like it? Oh. I must have uh, got this wrong. Okay, well, let's try taking one of these and seeing if we can pop that in there. Because that is what we're trying to do, is warm up these. Okay, we can. Yeah, okay. I'm going to stop this now because we need flux. Why do we need flux? Well, flux is used for welding, but thankfully it should be relatively easy to make. If I go and grab some stuff out of my boxes in the main house. So the first thing I need is a metamorphic rock. Thankfully, there is loads of marble around. So I'm going to take uh, maybe 16 marble. And somewhere in here, I have a hammer on the go. Now, hopefully, it is just doing this and this. Yeah, we can make ourselves some flux. Now, what are we going to use the flux for? The flux actually belongs in the anvil. So let's go and grab ourselves two or three, well, four ingots of copper. Have I thrown that away? No, there it is. Okay. Four ingots of copper. You see, I've also put up some supports around the inside here. It was having a few cave-in issues just all around. This was actually caused by the charcoal pit caving in, of all things. Of all things. Okay, let's do this, this, and this. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, put these in for warming and put in some charcoal to keep it warm. Uh, and I also want to put this flux right in there. Okay, we're on weld. That's good. Got to wait for these to get uh, orange warm, I believe. Anyway, we've got to wait some time. Okay, so three or four minutes later, you can see we've got a can weld can work. So I'm going to pull these two out. In fact, I'm going to pull all four out. Pop these up here. We are in the weld. So, I mean, maybe we could shift click. Weld them together. Bam. Let's see if we can indeed shift click. We can, but in the wrong spot. Still can weld. What's stopping the weld? Ah, it went cold. Okay, so I'm going to do this uh, a few times. Don't warm my 
my uh, saw up. I'm going to do it, I believe, seven times. That is how many double ingots we need to make the next anvil. Well, it's taken all night, but we are finally at the point where we can combine these last two together. Oh, yeah. You'll notice that they don't stack at the moment. This is because we now have to take these hot bars, put them in the water, let them cool down enough to be able to stack up. Oh, yeah. And here we go. As we have been threatening all day. I've got an anvil. Boom. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time where we're going to make some tools using our new blacksmithing skills. Hopefully get that building done. That that blue, that green is rather nice. It goes really well with my skin. So I think we might use that and do all sorts of other things to make the floor secure and stuff like that. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye. Did you just look up my trousers?